Good morning, my lovelies. Oh, I see. I really need to sort out the setup on my desk. That's going to be the thing that I'm going to do next year. Sort out some better lighting. Right. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So I'm moving on now swiftly to the Halloween book. I'm going to finish off just doing the lights inside the tree and I'll photograph that and get that out to you so that you can see that this weekend. But I thought let's swiftly move on now to doing this haunted. I thought this was just such a fun idea. I don't know if anybody's done it, but I'm sure we can pick up some ideas along the way of maybe using the, this kind of thing within memory book making as well because I think this is actually a good idea I was working on the uh, rest in peace tombstones yesterday you know just the, f the fun idea for for half term holiday projects with the kids but I actually thought you know what that might be a good idea to to be able to do them on memory books so what I did was I used memory book I think this is memory book two I've used Keepsake Bookmaker. I'm sure this one is Memory Book 2, if I'm um, not mistaken. So what I've done is that I've just knocked up. I, I, I'm just doing this quickly in case you do want to do this, because what are we today? We've got to be about the 15th. So if you did want to do this, you've still got time to do one for Halloween, especially now half terms next week. So what I've done is I've just knocked up um one of the books now there's plenty of tutorials jo go and have a look at jody's tutorial i think on if you look don't quote me but i think if you go to the to the official tonic facebook um page there is an album I, i'm sure i read somebody had put there is an album at the top of the page and you can click into it and it will bring up all those videos i'm pretty sure but if not there are uh, ask somebody J jody has done a tutorial on this maybe i'll even try and i'll try and link them i'm really not very good with linking but i'll try and link jody's tutorial to make the book but i've just knocked a very quick one up so this is what we're going to do now i have just gone on to the website and printed off because I wanted to make this look as Halloweenian oldie as possible. So I've just gone onto the onto not Facebook, Google. I went onto Google and I put in witches spells and it has brought up lots of these which I've just printed off because they look old and witchy and it looks like a Halloweeny book. But I have these now. They do. They probably do sell them in. I think these were from the the, the pound shop. These, but aren't these fun? Can you can you see this face? I don't know if you can. Can you see? Oh, oh yes, you can. Look, they're like holographic, and they were from the pound shop. Um, oh, I don't know how many years ago. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I don't know, but you'll be able to pick them up. They're cheap as chips. I think they they were four for a pound. There's four different ones there, and I thought they're going to make a really fun haunted memory book. But, you know, I thought it was just a bit of fun for Halloween. You know, we're always doing really serious projects, aren't we? We're always doing weddings or birthdays or, you know, baby books. You know, we're doing all these serious things, but I thought just as a bit of fun, let's do a Halloween album. <laughs> I don't know, it's a bit fun. Put a few spells in there and make it look really haunted. But... I got these, and I know they definitely do have them. I got these wooden frames from the one that sounds like, uh, what's it called? Um, it sounds like deranged, the deranged, you know, without the D, the D in it. <laughs> That's where I got these from. And um, they were cheap as chips. I don't know how much they were, actually few quid for four of them and I've, I've not used them and I was actually you going to use them on the front I, I'm, I'm still in two minds if I can go and pick some more of these up because this would be brilliant oh my computer's gone off so now I can't see what I'm doing we've had a power cut <laughs> I'm in Kent and we've had a power cut so I'm running my lights are probably going to go in a minute as well I'm running off the last bit of energy that my 
computer has in it. But I might go and pick some more up because this is what I'm saying. Where we did that, the rest in peace yesterday, you'll be able to do this for the front of your memory books. You know, even if you're not doing a haunted one, so anyways, this is what we're going to, what I'm going to do. And I'll do some step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it. You know, this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial of doing flips and flaps and things like that. This is just a fun idea for Halloween. So I thought I would come on and show you what I'm using if you wanted to do it as well. But we're obviously, you can tell what we're going to do. We're going to paint those up. They're going to look really spooky. We're going to, we're going to pop those in and it's going to have lots of spells. So those are the things you'd need. Also, now I couldn't, I have got it because this is my set, but I couldn't find the, the die set. So I will tell you, I can't remember what this one is called. It was an envelope they did. An envelope and you could make, I think you could do a book out of it. You could do a memory book as well. But I just thought they looked really, really old fashioned, don't they? They look really old. And these were left over from projects I did a few Halloweens ago when I did a Halloween night on Facebook and we opened up some dibbit boxes and some haunted items that were from the internet. It was like a sort of fun night. And I'd made these and all I did was just melt wax. Uh, that's not it, melt wax and put a stamp, you know, you know how to do that, I don't have to teach you to suck heads, but melt the wax and make sealed stamps. And I put those, so I thought those would be really good as pockets and putting witchy spells in them. You know, just, it's just, it's something fun for Halloween. These are all old tags that I had made up, really old tags you know sort of halloweeny things if you've got anything there use your dies use whatever you've got this is just i'm this was a box of things that i had lying around and i thought rather than throw them away let's use them these were the act uh, atc cards from tonic tonic did um i have that as well did um an, like a card pack obviously the stamps not I think that stamp was from I think that was a graphic 45 stamp if I'm not mistaken I think that was graphic 45 but these were you know um, cards I thought you know these would be good it's just all something spelly spelly type thing but yes if you want to sort of craft along you want to have some fun these were the letters that i used to make the rest in peace sign i used this now i thought i'd had the spell one tonic did a spell much more spell looking you know letters halloweeny type looking letters i don't know what the what it's what it's called the font of it but i didn't have it i thought i did and that was the only one i could find and i had all these left over because that's how they cut out so I will make something out of this I don't know maybe I'll have to do one without the RIP but I will make a, a, a let I will make um you know like a word words up on there we're going to use this and if I can get hold of one of the frames this is going to be painted you see the front the front page of it is going to be painted so if I can get another set of these because I wanted to use those for inside on the on the pictures but again these are just lying around in, in my crafty stash they were just lying lying around but you can see what we're going to do we won't we won't do it on here so we're going to make up a board like um you know like a, a piece of cardboard and then we will stick it onto the front of the page. So you, your card here is going to your outer card of your book. If you want to keep this every year and get it out every every Halloween, you will need to make sure you're using a really thick card for the outer sides because we're going to put a cardboard onto the top. It's not going to affect this because we're not going to paint onto it. We're going to paint onto the cardboard and then we're going to put the tissue paper over it and then we're going to do you see what i mean and then we'll have the words in the middle and it's going to be like a really fun front page but it was just as i was doing the rest in peace signs i thought oh that would make a really good front and i have done a book before but it was quite 
it was a very dark book obviously it was for halloween um i'm not sure maybe the the americans might appreciate it my american friends they may appreciate it i might have to go and get it out but i've never really got it out because it's quite it's quite um you know it's a really scary book it's it was, i did it so it was supposed to look like the devil do you remember dr faustus i don't know if anybody's read dr faustus but there was a book wasn't there when he held up the book it was it was specifically the thought of that so it was you know you've got I was just thinking at Halloween, you know, you've got all the deadly sins, haven't you? Lust, lechery, lecher, is it? Greed, gluttony, sloth. It was a theme that I'd done at Halloween and this book that I'd made. So I made a few of them. Maybe I'll get them out and show you. They might be in a bit of a state now because they've been sitting in my garage for a while. But I did used to do them. So it just suddenly occurred to me that we could do something like this for our memory book and it, it could look actually really, really nice. Even if you weren't doing a haunted one and you were doing something else, you can do this. So these are the things that you're going to need if you want to craft along. Um, um, we're going to make this really fun. You know, we're going to use spiders. We're going to use everything we've got in our crafty stash. We're not going to go over the top. This is just a fun book instead of always doing other things. But yes, go and go on to Google. Google, you know, if you've got, you know, like these kind of things are really fun. <laughs> you can get your ties out, can't you? And, and cut round all the pictures and put a picture in to make it look. I've just gone on. I've got some spells, you know, so we're going to we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. It's not going to be anything too um, difficult. It's going to be really easy. Let's start off with a really easy, fun project to do. If you have these in your craft stash as well, use them. They're brilliant. They do look really old. And if you really wanted to, if you were, you know, you wanted to go OTT and really make it look old, we haven't got time for that. We've got couple of weeks now haven't we till halloween next year i'll go wild i promise you especially now i've been watching all these wonderful i've said it so many times now my last three tutorials but these american sites these halloween ones if you are not on them please go and have a look because the crafting is amazing like the halloween displays are, honestly they do I, I said it before they look like something from a movie set this guy had done these they were called Halloween seeds and he made these heads I think they were like polystyrene but really massive I mean that have been about nine foot tall and all out of noodles swimming noodles and you know, it does look like something out of a movie set, some of these. And, and the Audrey plants, I don't know if anyone's seen. They're, you know, they seem to all be doing Audrey plants. You know, I was looking, they, they were also doing mirrors. Now, you could use, you, you know, where the heads come out of your mirrors. If you've got your, your tailored frames from Tonic, you could use your tailored frames. I don't think I've got one mocked up. I haven't. I'm just looking around. I have got them. I have got some. Not the same. But you could use your... They're not the same length and they're not... But you could use all your tailored frames. Obviously not this colour. And make a frame and then back it to cardboard. Go and get a plastic head out of the pound shop. Go, go down to the, you know, any of the shops. You know, there's so many shops that have got cheap Halloween decorations. Go and get a, a head. Cut it down so you've got half. Stick it on a piece of cardboard and do exactly the same as what we're doing. And then you've got, you could make loads of them because you've already got your frames. You don't even need to go out and get mirrors. You know, you, and you don't have to have it as a mirror either. You can just do it all as a head coming out of the wall you could do loads of them I mean, maybe i'll try and get that done as well because that is an easy project and if you you know you've already got these things in your your stash they're just really 
fun projects for the kids. I mean, now I'm doing these things, I'm really enjoying them. I've got to say, I'm enjoying these little crafty projects and I'm really enjoying using up all my Nouveau products because I have so many and I'm sitting, I sit there looking at them thinking, why am I looking at this bottle? I keep looking at this bottle, you know, and thinking, oh, this is such a lovely colour. <laughs> it's so nice. I don't want to use it. How many of you do the same as me? I don't want to use it. And what happens if they don't have it? And what happens if it runs out? And what happens if I can't get it? <laughs> but then you never use them. You just sit looking at them. And, you know, yesterday, just getting those out. Oh, let me tell you one more thing as well before I go and we'll make a start on this and I'll start doing some of these, setting some of these up. We'll do a nice quick one. But in the one that sounds like Brain Breeze, <laughs> in that one, they have got skulls, right? And they are luster skulls, um, all different colours, metallic luster. Now, they were, I bought a couple, I'd forgot, I'd forgotten all about it. I bought a couple the other day and I got tucked up for £10. They were £5 each. Now, had I, had I have known, see, this is what I mean, get your products out. Had I have known that these were going to give off such a lovely luster on the black, do you remember I told you? That's that is. Can you see? I, I, I don't know, can you see that? You can't. Yes, you can. It's it's the luster. I did show you that the other day. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can see that. You see that? That is really bang on trend. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't quite get that. But you see that luster? That's what the skull is like. But obviously, it's very metallic. But if you were to go to one of the cheap shops and pick up a skull and paint it acrylic black, right? And then spray these over it, this is bang on trend. I mean, it is bang, bang on trend. Is this luster, is this complete different, you know, the different colors of luster. Now look at that, get your black acrylic paint, get cheap skulls, paint them, and spray you, there is no finesse to it honestly see the way i've just splatted those on that's all you have to do with the mica mist work quickly with them splat one onto one color on in one patch splat another color on in one patch and keep going so keep three patches i'll try and do one so you can see and then it will just all dribble and mix into each other and then you'll get exactly the same as this bang on trend color at the moment which is this metallic luster uh, you know, this, yes, it's, it is like um, a, a luster colour. So use those. And if you had to, did buy your Halloween ones, use them. Don't go out and be tucked up for five pounds like I was. Um, of, and it was per skull. Go and get a cheap one for a pound. For, for, for a pound, this acrylic paint, two pound, right? That's three pound. And then plus your bottles. Now, I don't know how much the bundles were, but they were a really good price. Even these you can pick up so cheap. Just have a look sometimes if you're on a budget. I know some people are on a budget. They do do lots of different deals. They do these sometimes, um, you know, they when, you know, it comes to the end of Christmas, for instance, you get, you can pick the reds up relatively cheap if you're on a budget. But what I'm saying is, for the price, I paid £10, you could go out and spend £10 getting a couple of bottle, uh, bottles of these, because they do do them on sale, honestly, they do. Go and have a look. And paint, and you could make loads <laughs> for £10. You could make loads of them, you know. You really could save, really save your pennies. So that was just something I wanted to let you know as well. It's bang on trend. I didn't realise, but it is. The, the luster and, and the metallic colours are bang on trend at the moment. Right, I'm going to go. If you want to craft along, that's what we're using. I'm going to hopefully start doing a, a first tutorial, maybe later on. Oh, look, I mean, it's such a mess. Later on today. But if you want to craft along, Go and have a look in your crafty stash. Go and pick out little bits. Go and rage kids' toy boxes. <laughs> this was from a plant. Things that you think, oh, I'll never use that. 
anything but it doesn't matter what it is plasticky we're going to put um, tissue paper over it you'll need tissue paper as well but you only need one pack my this tissue paper has lasted me this whole doing this whole tree I've done coffins with it I've done all kinds so you only need one pack and it doesn't have to be white either you can use any color you're painting over it so it makes no difference rage cupboards go and find all these little things I don't know little chart anything anything that you think is going to look good on your book um, we'll all do this together and, and have some fun right I'm going to go and I will see you a little bit later today with our first setting up of our first front page bye